good morning everyone uh today is the last topic of chapter 2 principles of management uh the complete chapter we have already done so today we will be doing two things first is the last topic which is the importance of principles of management and uh, second is the quick recap of the whole chapter and uh, tomorrow we will be discussing the assignments which we have already uploaded on erp so you people just solve both the assignments and we will be discussing be ready with the answers with you you have to solve the assignments beforehand so that at the time when we will be discussing the assignments you people are able to give me answers so now i am starting with the topic today's topic is significance or importance of principles of management students i used to do importance of every chapter or importance of every topic normally at the end of the topic why this so in books it is given in the beginning why this so uh, that i uh, used to discuss the importance at the end because until or unless you people are familiar with the topic then you will not be uh, able to understand the importance of that topic so that's why importance of each and every topic we will be doing at the end that will be the last topic of each and every chapter so today's topic is importance of principles of management till now you have studied principles of fayol as well as principle of taylor so both have given their own principles and you have studied all the principles you have studied uh, the principles given by all now we will be discussing that how those principles are important so the first point is providing managers you can write the headings students and you can also write the main case study breaking lines so providing managers with useful insight into reality so this is the first important uh, point that is the principles of management provides manager with useful insight into reality which means that whenever a manager is doing work by following the principles of management then certainly it will increase their knowledge ability and understanding knowledge ability and understanding certainly it will increase the knowledge ability and understanding of managerial situations and the manager will be able to handle all the day to day life situations in a better way so he will be learning from past mistakes and conserve time by solving recurring problems quickly it means that whenever the principal management uh, manager is uh, following the principles then it will save his time he need not do principal he need not to spend time on thinking of the situations just by applying the principles he will be able to solve the principles uh, problem immediately next optimum utilization of resources so the second point is optimum utilization of resources and effective administration as i told you that the main important objective of the management is to utilize the resources in the effective manner efficient and effective manner so all the resources whether it is physical resources material resources human resources are limited and they should be put to use in such a manner that they are optimally utilized they are not wasted so principle of management uh, makes the manager able to effect uh, to establish a cause and effect relationship of their decisions and actions whenever the manager is applying those principles so that will be helping him in uh, eliminating the wastages because earlier he was using trial and error method or hit or miss method to solve a particular situation but with the use of the principles of management he need not to go with the trial and error or the hit or miss method he can directly use the principle and solve the situation so in this manner he can save his time resources and he can eliminate the wastages so in this manner all the resources of the organization will be fully and efficiently utilized so the main case study breaking line of this is establishing cause and effect relationship so wherever you are finding this line in any of the case cause and effect relationship and their decisions and their actions and remove the trial and error method then it means which point of importance is there 
optimum utilization of resources and effective administration yes third point third importance which is that scientific decisions so as we have also studied in features of management that whenever the manager uh, management principles are based on science so whatever the decisions will be taken by the manager by using scientific principles those decisions will be scientific decisions his decisions will not be on uh, random decisions or will be based on intuitions or his wishful thinking so whatever decisions he will be taking on the basis of the scientific principles or the principles that will be scientific decisions why because maximum of the principles are based on scientific observation and experimentations so this assessment uh, he will be better he will be able to uh, assess the situation in a better way and they emphasize on logic rather than blind faith it means whenever he is taking any decision that is based on logical thinking rather than his whims or the blind faith so all the decisions taken by the manager uh, manager will be scientific when he is following the scientific principles next fourth point for example we can take here the principle of science not the rule of thumb suggested by taylor stress on scientific analysis of each part of work because this principle tells us to find out the best method one best method and that will be based on science fourth principle meeting changing environment requirement in the features of scientific principles or the principles we studied that the management principles are flexible flexible in nature flexible in nature means they can be changed as per the they can be modified as per the change in the situation and as we all know that the business environment keeps on changing it is not static so whenever the manager is using or the management is using the principles then they are e easily able to meet the changing environment situations if there is any change in the environment they can modify the use of the principle according to the changes in the situation so all the changing environment requirements can be easily met down fifth principle is fulfilling social responsibility fuel has given many principles which fulfills the social responsibility fulfilling social responsibility means uh, fulfilling the responsibility towards the society as the society is as inlet as well as outlet for the business man i told you earlier this thing so peol has also given some principles which are fulfilling social responsibility for example principle of remuneration which says that uh, the just and uh, uh, salary on time should be given to the employees reasonable so that they are able to maintain a reasonable standard of living similarly the principle of equity equal treatment with the workers or with the employees working at the same level so when there will be equal treatment there will be no favoritism then again the manager will be fulfilling his social responsibility then the uh, last importance point is management training education and research that management principles provides a base for the management training education and research how because these principles can be used for giving training to the managers for providing or imparting education to the students who are studying in different school colleges and different management institutions and they are also helping uh, the researchers to conduct the different research like uh, entrance of the management institutions is preceded by the management aptitude test so whenever you want to enter in any of the management institution like indian institute of management iim which is a dream for every management student and uh, before entering in that institution you have to pass a test conducted by that institution and that is completely based on management aptitude test as well as the different professional courses which are very popular these days like mba masters of business administration and bba bachelors of business administration also the bms bachelors of business uh, management studies also teach these principles as a part of their curriculum at the beginners level like in 12th class also if you are studying these principles then what they are imparting you they are giving you education knowledge about these principles as well as the new techniques management techniques like operation research different techniques all these techniques you will be studying in your higher classes 
then you will be moving to the colleges or the different management institutions not in 12th class so here you have to just learn the name of these techniques like or operation research cost accounting just in time jit this is a inventory valuation technique lean manufacturing six sigma etc have developed due to the research on the principles of management all these techniques are developed how because the researchers conducted research on the management principles and all these techniques are derived from the management principles so we can say that the management principles help as a training education and research tool so in this manner we can study that how important the management principles are they are very much important for the managers they help the managers to solve the their routine problems day to day problems so i am repeating all the points uh, first important uh, point is providing managers with useful insight into reality which means the management principles helps the manager to solve the day to day problems and they will be saving their time and they will be easily handling the problems without any uh, doubt or any problem then optimum utilization of resources by the use of management principles managers are uh, able to establish a cause and effect relationship application of that principle is the cause and the result is the effect and in this manner wastages will be reduced or eliminated and the resources will be optimally utilized then scientific decisions third point management principle whenever the managers are using management principles then the decisions whatever they will be taking will be based on science why because their decisions will not be based on their intuitions that will be based on scientific inquiry or logical thinking so decisions will be very much scientific then the four, fourth point which is the meeting changing environment requirement so in this point the case study breaker line is flexibility the nature of the management principle is flexible means they can be changed according to the changes in the situation then fulfilling social responsibility means uh, due to the application of management principles the manager is able to fulfill business social responsibility towards society so uh, here you can take any two three examples of the principles like remuneration and equity they are towards the employees and the employees are the part of the society then management training education and research so management principles help in uh, training of the managers education and research at different institutions they are the part of the curriculum and different researchers have introduced new techniques like operation research cost accounting which are definitely based on management principles so here the chapter ends now first i am going uh, uh, with the some mcq of the related topic or we can say of today's topic so the first mcq is anmol arora yes and anshika agrawal yes i am uh, anushka bansal i have unmuted you okay which of the following is not a significance of principle management Yes. Contingent A. Yes. Then B, what is yes. decision? Yes, I'm not saying me and more. Yes. Uh, which of the following is not a significance of principles of management? You told me contingent. Why? What is this? Ma'am, uh, all three are covered in the topic of significance of management and mm -hmm. contingent. Covered. Where we have studied contingent? In which topic? Uh, in which topic we have studied um, contingent is a feature yes very good thira tandan it's a feature very good and anmol arora very good next uh, anushka bansal anshika agarwal yes ma'am uh, read the second question beta professional courses like mba bba also teach management principles as part of their curriculum at the beginners level <laughs> which significance of the principles of management has been highlighted here yes tell me a scientific decisions b fulfilling social responsibility c meeting changes environment uh, requirements d none of these ma'am answer d point. none of these yes in which point i told mba give me answer mba and administration business administration uh, provides management management training yes education and research yes very good management principles yes all are giving me correct answers very good students who uh, so ever is giving me answers in uh, chat box harjas anshika sharma harsh bhat part pancharya vaibhav sharma yes all are giving me correct answer very good understanding students 
नेक्स्ट द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट प्रोवाइड द मैनेजर्स विद यूजफुल इनसाइट इन टू मैम नेक्स्ट वर्ड नहीं दिखा रियलिटी इन टू रियलिटी रियलिटी वर्ल्ड सिचुएशन रियल वर्ल्ड सिचुएशन यस इज इट ट्रू और फॉल्स इज इट ट्रू और फॉल्स इज एनीवन Yes, true. This this was the first, um, first true. point of importance. Yes, first point of importance. Uh, so it's true. Okay, Anushka Bansal, you can read the second question. Crack the case. Principles of management. Yes. Uh, equip the managers to foresee the cause and effect relationships of their decisions and action, so that wastage associated with trial. and error approach can be overcome identify the point of significance of principles of management highlight yes gun you can give me answer principles which point of importance you can find it gun many are giving me answer in chat box which point of importance yes where i told the point cause and effect relationship in which point yes gurnoor Correct answer, Vibhav Sharma, Divya. Yes, Divya, very correct answer. Optimum utilization of resources. Very good. Anshika Sharma, Naman Jain, Part Panchariya. It means Deepak, you were not listening me. Kira and Varun Bhatia, everyone has given me correct answer. Very good students. Now I am going for the next portion of the chapter, which is uh, the quick recap. So here we have completed the chapter. So all those students who have skipped some classes or missed some classes. so listen carefully i am going for the quick recap of the chapter within 15 minutes we will be revising the whole chapter so this chapter name uh, the chapter name is principles of management so this chapter is all about the principles and this chapter is divided in two parts peol and taylor so management principles define of the management principles these are the fundamental truths these are the statements of fundamental truths based on observation and Uh, uh, experimentation and these act as a guidelines for the practice of the management so uh, the nature of the management principles which we did yesterday universally applicable all the management principles are unis uh, can be applied anywhere everywhere irrespective of the size and nature of the organization uh, general guidelines they are not providing us the ready made solutions they are the general guidelines we have to uh, use the principles Uh, or we can modify the principles in our own manner to solve the our problem then formed by practice and experimentation all these principles are not the result uh, of the overnight efforts they are based on the practice and experimentation then uh, mainly behavioral flexible they are flexible and uh, mainly behavioral flexible means they can be modified according to the situation uh then uh, mainly behavioral why these are mainly behavioral because these are uh, applied on the human beings so the result every time will not be the same uh, the principle which has given uh, result may not give the same result on the other set of group of employees so cause and effect relationship is there principles are based on cause and effect relationship application of the principle is the cause and whatever the result we are getting that is the effect then contingent contingent here means the use of the principle will be depending on the prevailing situations according to the situation we have to use the principle then significance uh, right now we have done this topic so i am not repeating it importance or significance of principle of management providing managers with useful insight optimum utilization effective administration scientific decisions meeting changing environment requirements fulfilling social responsibility and management training education and research then principles developed by henry fuel division of work in this principle the whole of the work is divided into smaller parts and assigned to the person who can perform it in a better way according to his competence and qualification and the main benefit of this principle was it gives us benefits of specialization authority and responsibility there must be a balance in between authority and responsibility authority means right to uh take decisions right to give orders and responsibility means obligation to complete the given task then discipline discipline means obedience to rules and regulations and i told you three points in the principle of discipline good superiors at all levels then uh, fair commitments it means the management should keep up 
its promises whatever it has made to the employees then the third point which is the most important point is the judicious use of fines and penalties whenever required uh, fines and penalty should be used by the management but after giving proper warnings not in the first chance then unity of command one subordinate uh, should get the order from one boss only at a time so this principle helps in avoiding the dual subordination and there will be no conflicts among the subordinates and no confusion in the mind of the employees if this principle is followed then unity of direction one unit one head one plan howsoever the units uh, the products the organization is having for each and every product there must be one unit one head and one separate plan having the same objectives subordination of individual interest to general interest means the organization interest is the prime interest whenever there is a clash in between the organizational interest and the personal interest then the personal interest must be sacrificed for the sake of the organizational interest then remuneration of employees fair and just remuneration within the paying capacity of the organization should be given to the employees then centralization and decentralization centralization means concentration of the power at the top level and decentralization means dispersal of the power from top level to the lowest level decisions are taken by all the level so how the management sh uh, should use this principle it will be depending on the nature and the size of the organization so a combination of both should be used by each and every organization scalar chain formal lines of authority all the organized uh, all the employees in the organization are arranged in a chain that chain is known as a scalar chain in which everyone is superior and subordinate to each other and skipping of the any key to that chain is not allowed so gang plank we can take sometimes when there is some urgency and what is the gang plank that is a shorter route in a scalar chain which permits two persons remember that working at the same level this is the important point working at the same level to communicate directly with each other then the principle of order each and everything should be at its place at its time right time there are two orders physical order and social order physical order means everything should be at its place physical and uh, social order means everyone should be at its place equity this principle says that there should be equal treatment with all the employees working at the same level it means there should be no partiality favoritism on the basis of caste creed and religion and gender then stability of tenure of personnel there must be uh, at, uh, whenever the employees are uh, placed at a job position there must be suitable time should be given to them so that they can show their talents they can show their efficiencies it means frequent transfers and shifting from one position to another position should not be there employees must be given a reasonable time to settle on a job position so that they can show their efficiencies initiative workers should be encouraged to give their suggestions to carry out their plans for improvement for this uh, their suggestions should be listened by the management and the appropriate reward should be given to the productive suggestions esprit de corps which means union is strength so team spirit should be there if we want to achieve the organizational goal the manager should replace word i with the word we because the group of worker is uh, working and they can achieve the organizational goal only when there is a harmony and team spirit among them so these are all the 14 principles of the uh, given by fiol so you have to learn the name of each uh, principle Uh, collectively all the 14 principle you have to keep uh, the name of uh, principles in your mind only then you will be able to solve the case study because in this chapter maximum case studies come in the exams so there you have to identify the principle and then explain that principle so you have to first learn the name of principle so by tomorrow you all will be going to learn the principles then taylor contribution given by taylor starts so taylor has given two contribution principles of scientific management as well as the techniques so four principles he had given science not the rule of thumb this principle says that a manager's decision should not be based on hit or miss or trial or error method so his all decisions should be based on science not the rule of thumb rule of thumb here means the past practices done by the management uh, so 
ओके पार्ट पंजारिया आई विल बी सेंडिंग पीडीएफ इन ग्रुप इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग स्टडी मटेरियल सो आई विल बी सेंडिंग दैट देन हार्मनी नॉट डिस्कोर्ड सेकंड प्रिंसिपल दिस प्रिंसिपल सेज दैट देयर वाज मस्ट बी हार्मनी मींस गुड रिलेशंस एंड डिस्कोर्ड मींस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट देयर मस्ट बी गुड रिलेशंस अमंग द बिटवीन द एम्प्लॉइज एंड द एम्प्लॉयर एंड देयर मस्ट नॉट बी एनी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट देयर मस्ट बी अ प्रॉपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड फॉर दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग वन कांसेप्ट वाज कॉइंड by taylor what was that that was mental revolution changing the attitude of both towards each other then cooperation not individualism it means harmony not it is this is the principle which is the extension of harmony not discord and this principle says that uh, the whatever the suggestions are given by the employees that must be listened and uh, proper reward should be given and this principle is based on the paternalistic style of the management it means management should take care of the employees only then the employees will be taking care of the management both are not the competitors both are not the rivals they both should show cooperation towards each other last principle uh, is development of each and every person to his or her greatest efficiency uh, and prosperity that the management should understand that that their prosperity is based on the prosperity of the employees so for the employees prosperity they have to provide them training so that uh, they can be skilled they can be efficient they can produce more as well as uh, science should be used from the selection of the employees till their placement means selection and placement must be based on science so that the good employees can be selected so next is the techniques given by taylor and uh, remember that techniques will be helping a manager to apply the principles so technique functional foremanship in which principle of division was followed but not the principle of unity of command was followed and in this uh, it was uh, believed by taylor uh, that a single manager cannot perform all the activities so he divided the factory manager work in two parts planning and execution in planning uh, he has again appointed four four men under planning in charge instruction card clerk route clerk time and cost clerk and disciplinarian then under production in charge also he again uh, appointed four four men speed boss gang boss repair boss inspector you have to learn making of diagram of this as this technique is very important it can come in a six marker question explain functional foremanship in a simple way or in a uh, form of case study so you have to also uh learn the complete diagram and eight bosses are giving orders to the workmen simultaneously uh, this technique is the violation of principle of unity of command so second is standardization and simplification standardization means setting standards for every step from beginning to ending purchase of raw material purchase of machinery uh, what method will be taken what type of raw material will be taken what type of workers will be appointed each and everything is standardized and simplification refers to eliminating the unnecessary diversities in the uh, sizes and the dimensions of the business then the work study under this study four studies were conducted remember that work study cannot be the answer of any case study if the any technique is asked if any study is asked then you have to mention any one of these four work study is the combination of four studies so you cannot write the answer work study so the first study is method study in which emphasis was given on finding out the one best method of doing a particular job so that the wastages can be minimized motion study in which all the motions of the employees are divided in two parts productive motions and unproductive motions productive motion should be increased and unproductive motions should be eliminated or decreased so that uh, the workers motion can result in maximum of the production then the time study time study here means uh, in this studies the main focus was on deciding the time to be taken by a by an average worker to complete the given task so that uh, a single day standard output can be uh, decided or can be set the number of the workers to complete uh, the given task can be find out then last was the fatigue study fatigue means here means tiredness so whenever we do any work then we feel mental or physical tiredness and we were not able we will not be able to focus on the activity if we are tired so at that time rest interval is needed by the workers so in this study main focus was uh, there to determine the number amount here means number and the frequency 
and the duration of the rest intervals in completing a task number means how many rest interval should be given duration means what will be the time limit for each rest interval half hour two rest interval or one hour uh, one rest interval and frequency means how frequently the rest interval should be introduced so that the workers are able to regain their lost stamina and they are doing the task in the same manner in which they were doing in the early morning when they joined the organization when they came to the organization last functional form and technique is differential piece wage rate system and in this system the tailor believe that money is the strongest motivator and some workers are efficient and some are inefficient who are efficient who have achieved the target product or the standard target in the given time and who are inefficient they have not achieved the standard target in the given time so tailor said that uh, efficient workers need motivation as well as inefficient also need uh, motivation to become the efficient so he introduced two wage rate one was the high wage rate and one was the lower wage rate high wage rate was given to the efficient workers and low wage rate was given to the inefficient workers so that the all uh, all workers can become the efficient workers and the organizational target can be achieved and the last topic of the chapter is comparison of taylor and feol where i had given you many points of the difference as well as the similarities where they both were agreeing at the use of the principle of division of work and where they were not agreeing unity of command and also the principle of initiative they were agreeing at the with the principle of initiative or cooperation uh, cooperation not individualism by given by uh, taylor and esprit de corps given by feol says the same thing and they were also different uh, somewhere like the uh, taylor uh, whatever the principles or the studies given by taylor are based on uh, his personal experiences but by uh, taylor uh, based on observation and experimentation feol is known as a father of general management and taylor is known as a father of scientific management so uh, their both contribution is very important and they both are providing a base means we cannot say they have introduced these principles very uh, uh, in the years of 90s uh, 40s early 90s but still those principles given by both are serving to the managers and to all the management faculties and to everyone maximum people are also using these principles at their home game field school college hospitals everywhere we are following the principles in our own manner why because the principles are flexible so this is students all about the chapters and it was i think very interesting chapter because related to the real life situations and we are also using this principle at our homes too so uh, i have already uploaded the assignment so by tomorrow you will be ready with the assignment and we will be solving uh, assignment in the next class so here i am concluding the chapter as well as the class okay students so tomorrow we'll meet again and uh, this will will be discussing the assignments Okay students